Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. President Rodrigo Duterte's visit to Japan is expected to yield business deals close to 300 billion pesos and thousands of jobs for Filipinos. The president left for a four-day trip to Japan this afternoon. He arrived in the East Asian country at 8.52 this evening, Manila time. In a statement, the Trade Department said the agreements will provide at least 80,000 jobs to Filipinos. It added most of the deals would focus on infrastructure, manufacturing, and electronics. Mr. Duterte will have a bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Abe Shinzo on May 31st after his keynote address at the 25th Nikkei Conference. But the Foreign Affairs Department says no deals will be signed during the meeting. The president brings with him over 200 delegates, including 16 cabinet members. Philippine ambassador to Japan, Jose Laurel, says this could be a reward for the midterm election turnout where most administration candidates won. But Executive Secretary Salvador Mejaldea clarifies almost all officials in the trip were not involved during the campaign, and they all have trade missions to attend to while in Japan. He says, quote, Hindi po sila decorasyon sa summit. Agriculture Secretary Manny Pinol is also part of the delegation. He says the department is shouldering his expenses. He adds issues related to agriculture will be taken up during the visit, especially tariff on bananas.